Hi, fourth graders. Um, welcome to science class today. I am so excited to invite both the Honic Ortiz and the um, Mendez and Blankenship class. Um, I love doing video games with science and I'm so glad that we're being able to share this just outside of the Hive Portable. Um, but this is called Super Mario Sunshine and I'm currently playing it on my Nintendo Switch. Um, from now on, we're going to be playing on this Honic save file, which is save file A, because, you know, over the past couple of weeks, I've been really thinking about it, and live streaming um, this game is a lot harder than having a pre-planned video, because live streaming takes up a lot of data um, and makes the Zoom call really, like, glitchy and stuff. So, anyways, if you're new to seeing this game... Um, this game has an enemy called Shadow Mario who disguises himself just like Mario. And when you show up on this island, there's lots of pollution and, you know, he like, you chase him inside of these like little, like mirrors that, or portals that take you to another like part of the island. Um, which right now we are on Isle Delfino. Isle Delfino is a place where shine sprites gather, and the more shine sprites there are on the island, the brighter it is. As you can see, there's a lot of darkness over here, and there are not a lot of shine sprites. I only have six on this save file. Um, Isle Delfino... I'm gonna cartwheel. Isle Delfino is pretty much made up of the fruit industry, which means that they sell lots of fruits to support, you know, the people who live here. That's how they get their money, I imagine. And I imagine that they transport their fruit through their waterways and on their boats, which brings me to our, kind of our lesson for today, which is over building our own boats out of aluminum foil. Now, I want you guys to take some inspiration from this boat right here. Look at the way that it's designed and definitely look at its dimensions, its length, its width, and its height. Now, to give you guys some perspective, I'm gonna stand here so we can calculate the length. But first, I'm gonna wanna measure this with a ruler. There we go. I'm gonna stand here to calculate the width. I'm gonna need another ruler for this again. And then it's not the perfect perspective, but I'll stand here to calculate the height. Be sure to measure from the very bottom of the boat to the top. Awesome. Now it is your turn to go to the kitchen and grab some aluminum foil. You are only allowed to use 12 inches, which is equal to one foot for each boat design. You may not use any other materials. This is supposed to constrain you on purpose and make your creativity flourish. Good luck and may the best boat float. Bye guys. Yay.